My name is Angela. I live here in beautiful Montville Township. We built the house from the ground up. We started in 1997. Like everybody from the beginning, I thought I'd be able to do it all myself, and when we got here, it was overwhelming. It was taking us a long time. We were making bad choices along the way with the stuff we did. We weren't really happy as we thought we would be when we were in the store. The house required a professional touch. Thank God we hired a designer. Once the house was done upstairs, we would come downstairs from time to time, just we would use this area for storage and the, the kids overflow. We had put the tile floor down and there were uh, just sheetrock walls, basically. We just knew we had to do something to make it fit with the rest of the house. We called Kenneth Davis and started the process to, to make this a great space as opposed to just something that was mediocre. When we came down to the lower level, there was no ceiling. There were some sheetrock walls. The space was totally unfinished. Although the frame out was there, it was just an empty space. And we were looking for an area where we could either have board games or play cards. We got to know them a lot better by you know, socializing and entertaining with them. And we said, let us do a presentation of what we think your real personality is and something completely different than the upstairs. Our personalities are, are they, they mesh, we, we, we have a good time together. They want definitely have a billiard room and then an area where they could all hang out. I was looking to make a room in the house where we could entertain and have 30 people at a time all in one space. To me, I, I consider it New York City chic. I, I, I love it, I feel like I'm in a club. If we need to move walls, if we need to create spaces to really make the house useful, that's what we really look for. Straight off from the very beginning when they came in with their initial proposals, it was exactly the, the look that we were going for. It didn't have to be tweaked at all. I had my doubts sometimes of, of how it would look, but the day it was done and you came and you looked at it, it's son of a gun, that stuff does all work together. When we designed the bar, we said, the bar has to be a, a real highlight and a focal point. We like that area of the bar for our friends to come over and, and be able to sit and it's, it's, you know, just a comfortable atmosphere and, and we wanted that look. Being that most lower levels are dark and gloomy and that corner where the wine cellar is, as well as the bar is, is dark. We want to illuminate it. We wanted a New York City club kind of feel and Kenneth and Davis designed mood lighting. Uh, it changes color so we can either have it change all the time or we could set a solid theme. We said let's illuminate the front and the back bar using lucite panel and LED lighting. But that wasn't enough because we were dealing with seven foot six high ceilings. So we designed these spheres that are suspended over top of the bar as well as the billiard table. And Kenneth came up with this idea of doing it out of stainless steel so we could have more of a, a monochromatic feel. We want to carry out that stainless steel feel from the panels, so we found a stainless steel billiard table and we decided to do a black felt on that. I'm in the fire protection business and we were looking to do something spectacular on that wall. Kenneth and Davis came up with that image and it just, it just worked for us. It was just cool. The family room area, as we call it, or hangout space, um, we wanted to bring in some elements from the upstairs. So when we were selecting a fireplace mantle, we found this limestone French ornate fireplace, but we like contrasting very ornate items with very contemporary items. So for the surround of it, we went with mirror. The process of the design phase is really one of the most enjoyable processes. And then to see it all pulled together the day when it's done, it's totally different than what you even imagine. I can't imagine anybody trying to do something like this on their own. We just have a great working and friendship relationship. Once you have a designer, you don't go back. You, you can't even make simple decisions like dish towels. Davis is always my sounding board for different ideas. It, it's, like I said, a great experience. We could never have done it on our own. Thank God we hired a designer. Are you a social media darling? Do you like to hang out on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or even Tumblr? If so, you can check us out at all those places, or of course, you can just click subscribe right here to see what we got going on.